Good morning. I'm Jennifer Ritter Kelly. Thank you so much for joining us. We are thrilled today to have Rebecca Pilgrim from Mohawk Papers with us. She's going to talk a little bit about how to find the right paper to suit your project. Hello, I'm Rebecca Pilgrim with Mohawk Fine Papers, and here are some tips for selecting paper for your print projects. To help you determine the best type of paper and finish for the job, consider these questions. Who is the recipient? Who, what do you want the finished piece to feel like? And what perception are you trying to convey? Generally speaking, there are two types of papers, coated and uncoated, with each offering various finishes. Coated products are papers that have a clay coating applied to the surface which results in fine detail and a smooth, even ink coverage. Finishes within coated papers are cast coated, gloss, dull and matte with some in-between finishes such as silk, suede, or satin. Let's consider the benefit of each finish starting with cast coated. A cast coated sheet is highly polished with a mirrored finish and is perfect for high-end packaging or when you need high reflective surface and brilliant color. A gloss gives exceptional surface for fine detail with a glossy polished finish. A dull or silk or suede finish offers a great surface for detail without the glare, which is perfect for high volume of copy or when you prefer an understated image for high-end products. And a matte sheet gives the look of an uncoated with a flat, dull surface, but provides a good surface for detail and is excellent when reading is required, such as educational materials. Some extra benefits of coated are with the use of varnish or aqueous coatings in which interesting contrast techniques can be achieved. And lastly, metallic inks will, look, will have a polished sheen to them. Now let's move on to uncoated papers. Uncoated papers offer a wide selection of whites and colors and give a tactile quality unlike coated sheets. They offer a warmth or human quality along with giving a timeless or even contemporary feel and can add dimension. The finishes available in uncoated products are super smooth or calendar, smooth, vellum, sometimes called an antique or an eggshell finish, and textured finishes such as linen, laid, felt, plus there's many other choices. A super smooth finish will give a contemporary feel and a surface for sharp detail. A smooth finish gives a surface for good detail and has a traditional feel to it. Vellums or eggshell finishes give a timeless quality and are perfect for books or historic images. And textures can add interest and dimension to an image. Consider an off-white or a color along with texture when an overall piece is lacking in character or interest. Another advantage of a textured sheet is when photo quality is poor, the texture will help hide flaws that a coated sheet will reveal. Critical in achieving the highest quality of printing on uncoated sheets is making curve adjustments. Because uncoated papers do not have a clay coating, the ink dot will spread or gain when it hits the sheet, but this can be alleviated by making adjustments in the files. The adjustment allows a smaller dot of ink to be laid down, giving extra room for the ink to spread without loss of detail or the image looking muddy. Uncoateds are perfect for offline processes such as engraving, embossing or debossing, foil stamping, and letterpress. Varnish or aqueous coatings can be used but only for protection, not for contrast and a dull varnish is always recommended. Metallic ink can look interesting and will have an antique quality. Because paper is an essential element to print, even for those budget jobs, it's important to take the time to discuss the options with your print rep or paper consultant. Those people can also help you with samples or dummies. It may be important for you to actually see the paper or have a dummy made for that project. For all the ways you print, Rebecca Pilgrim with Mohawk Fine Paper. 
Thank you for your time and attention today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. We'll see you next time.